I am Nancy Lee Sidoni, and I'm very happy to be exhibiting at the Montserrat Art Gallery, Contemporary Art Gallery, in Chelsea, New York. The name of this art is Dark Illuminata. The shapes are cut using a welding torch. I like to think of it as cutting steel with fire. Some of the places are cut delicately, and some of the places are cut more open. Shapes of the gold leaf is created spontaneously and direct, captivating the essence of the work. The name of this sculpture is Illuminata in Spring. It is the first sculpture uh, that I uh, worked. It is um, that I worked with silver and gold leaf. Both sides are gilded with silver and gold, so you could turn the sculpture around and have use the other side and do what you want with it, which I like. The title of this piece is called Palm Trees in Puerto Rico. It's painted in oil paint on white canvas. I enjoy painting on the beach. Look, uh, looking, uh, viewing the beautiful vista, the vista of palm trees. This is painted in Verde Beach, Carolina. Carolina. Carolina in San Juan. This painting is inspired by the beautiful palm trees that to me seem to be swaying and dancing, doing their own dance depending on the way the wind blows. Deep purples give the, the painting a, a kind of mystery. The title of this piece is called Healing Gardens. The paint used is iridescent and it's a golden paint and, and black canvas. I am, uh, I am working on Healing Gardens 2 and 3 at home, they're not finished, but it they will, it will be a connection, a sweep of, all, of them, Sim something like this style, but not exactly. So it could be, it's going to be exciting and challenging to work on. And inspirational because it's fun working through, working using um, my... Uh, my backyard, I have a lot of trees in there, all kind of, because it's autumn, 
the, the colors of nature now my, are red, yellow, green, beautiful, a beautiful wall of, flower, of uh, leaves. So it's inspiring to work with the, I bring my canvas outside and then I bring it inside. So I'd like to finish it before fall is over. This, uh, the title of this, of this painting is called Enchanting. And it was made several years ago on the beach in Coning Island. And it's, it's part of the water and the rocks and, and sky. And it's one of my earlier pieces. I have many, many of these. The oil pastel on black paper. And it was such a, f a wonderful time doing them. I like to work on the beach. And this actually inspired, this work inspired these, the Healing Garden se series that are not here. <laughs> the title of this piece, of this artwork, is called Fallen Star. And it is inspired from this work. Uh, a long ago, they connect some way. This was earlier, this is the now. And it is an iridescent golden paint, which, which, which is a, a pure paint. And and I, I love the natural luminous that it has, the quality of the paint itself, the color that it has. And I've been working straight from the tube and I have mixed some of the colors. Even though <laughs> it's definitely about something that, a star that, that fell from the earth, from the sky onto into a water that created this explosion of of lovely vines and flower and line, uh, and lines of leaves and these are the the little back the back areas the splashes and that's it and the lot and the paint and the uh, lines open up and they tighten up going down as title of this is called palm tree and uh, as i was saying earlier when uh, i painted this in old in in, in Carolina, Carolina Beach, which is called Verde Beach, in San Juan, and I was sitting in front of this, in front of the palm trees, and I cut them up, and I just, you know, painted part of the palm tree with the water. I have many of the these with water, which I haven't mentioned and sky and this is a little banana boat which when it's active people go on rides through the ocean kids and families have a lot of fun so this is after the fact this is after 4.30 when they closed down and and the boat was just there, and I took some pictures of it, and I decided to start a, a small pastel painting of it. Uh, the fun thing in, on that beach, there are people having fun in the beach. Uh, they're playing, 
and diving and all kinds of things going on, which I have many pictures of. I'm going to at home and I didn't. I could show them another time of the uh, the fun going on. There, uh, there's this one person who jumps up and down, or two or three of them uh, jumping up and down the water with these new these new technical great spiral metal things up and down it, and there are balloons everywhere of people flying up in balloons and parasailing and there's a whole a, a whole fun thing going on on this beach so that's one of the reasons why I like to work there you never know what's going to be finding driftwood on beaches, woodsy, woody areas, and lake sites. When I find them, they usually are, they have such beautiful shapes and color. The driftwoods without color on, without painting on it. I collect them and take them home and I've been painting on some of them. I'm using acryl, uh, no, oil pastels and pastels. And the, it's a front and back piece. Actually, there's no front and no back, depending on how you want it to, to present it. So in this case, we see the front and has this beautiful natural notch in it which uh, to me it represented at the time the eclipse was an eclipse of the sun and I was so taken by space that's what I call it very very orange that's when the, moon, the, the sun turned orange the subject expresses line, shapes, and movement. Uh, the colors used are very bright orange, a lot of orange, and, and different bright shades of blues. The warm colors and cool colors, there are many more warm colors, but the few cool colors are opposite colors and they are complementary to each other. So the entire sculpture is using these colors for variations of light and dark, tints, shades, and hues. The title of this of this artwork, sculpture, should I say, is Global Warming. It is created, the material created, it's white clay that was fired, and it is about, it's about mankind. It's about how mankind has uh, destroyed the oceans and polluted the oceans and the earth for power and greed. The, sur the surface material is 22 karat gold and silver which is opposite of global warming because it shows the beauty not the destructive the beauty of this fish that is dead because of global warming it's giving it a new life and silver and gold inside is a hypodermic needle which is the debris that's under the ocean. It represents that. 
And the beautiful part about using real gold and silver leaves, it will never tarnish. It will always be like that. It's jewelry. It's like 14 karat gold and silver, which is a be- I wanted to use a good a great, a great alloy to keep allo- a great material to keep the work alive and not change in color. It was inspired by Cole Porter, who is an amazing musician and composer many decades ago. This side is the day, which shows you, you know, you could see it. It's expressive in it. In, in the way it's painted in oil pastel and I glued on little piece, pieces which represent the flow of music so this is the day sign and there's all the other side is night which also has pieces of driftwood that I found that create that that um that has a musical quality to the work because it is called day and night or night and day in the future I'm working on plans to be working on more of driftwood I have quite a bit of them that I found and I plan to make a series of small ceramic sculpture which will be gold leafed in places with silver leaf different subjects of course in ceramic and plan to oh I plan to do a self portrait of myself in clay that would be challenging and 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 paint and do some more several black with the iridescent celestial like outer space looking work and some more sculpture steel sculpture with the steel patina and gold silver uh, real uh, real because uh, real I don't think I want to experiment with alloys that fade and change in time because they will lo- lose color thank you also I'll be I'll be exhibiting here for the month of November and it's very exciting being in the Montserrat Gallery. And I'm inviting you all to come to see the wonderful artwork in my show. And bring your friends and family to enjoy this beautiful gallery with all this amazing artwork in it.